Hello and welcome to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will compare the retention time of two reactors that is, the completely mixed flow reactor and plug flow reactor and find which one is more efficient. The question is given which states that we have to design a reactor to treat a poultry waste water that contains 500 milligram per liter of board. EPA regulation allows a maximum board concentration of 30 milligram per liter in the discharge. Laboratory experiments determined that the board decay follows a first order kinetics with a rate constant of 0.6 per hour. To achieve the treatment goal at a steady state, what is the required retention time if we use a completely mixed flow reactor or a plug flow reactor? First, we will see what is given in the question. Influent concentration is equal to C is equal to 500 milligram per liter. Effluent concentration is equal to CE is equal to 30 milligram per liter. Rate constant is equal to K is equal to 0 0.6 per hour. And retention time we have to calculate for both the reactors. First, we will find retention time of a completely mixed flow reactor. For completely mixed flow reactor, concentration at effluent is given as CE is equal to C divided by 1 plus KT. Putting values of C, E, C and K, we get as 30 is equal to 500 divided by 1 plus 0 0.6 into T. We will divide 30 by a 500, so we get in the next step 1 plus 0 0.60 is equal to 16.667. Subtracting both sides by minus 1, we get 0 0.60 is equal to 15.667. Now dividing 15.667 divided by 0 0.6, we get the retention time equal 26.11 hours. Now for the plug flow reactor, effluent concentration is given as CE is equal to C e raised power minus KT. Putting values, we get the equation as 30 is equal to 500 e raised power minus 0 0.6 T. Dividing 30 by 500, we get 0 0.06 is equal to e raised power minus 0 0.6 t. Now we will reciprocal both sides. We get e raised power 0 0.6 t is equal to 16.667. Now we will apply natural logarithm on both sides. So we get 0 0.6 t is equal to ln of 16.667. And uh, then T is equal to ln of 16.667 divided by 0 0.6, which is equal to 4.7 hours. So from these results, we can see that the, to achieve same removal efficiency, retention time of plug flow reactor is much less than that of the completely mixed flow reactor. And in this case, it is more efficient than the completely mixed flow reactor. So this gives us the procedure of how to calculate retention time of different reactors. Hope you guys learned something from this video. And if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.